very, very impressed about how they have combined their traditional Chinese medicine, which has thousands of years of history, with the most advanced medical knowledge that we can find now in the world. So how was this state-of-the-art space station put together? Let's check it out. China is now embarking on an audacious journey, one that reaches far beyond the confines of our resident blue planet. It's a visionary and enthusiastic quest, a journey mapped out over the course of the 21st century, with the audacious goal of establishing the sprawling space resources system spanning the entire solar system. In an age where space technology advances at an unprecedented pace, the economic exploitation of space resources is poised to transition from the Earth-Moon system to the uncharted depths of the cosmos. Well, it's due to return to Earth in the coming hours, carrying fresh samples of moon rocks and debris. Setting the stage for a new era of economic competition among nations, with no other than China at the forefront. Today's episode will cover China's future solar system exploration plans. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. China has set its sights on a bold and ambitious mission to establish a comprehensive space resources system that spans the solar system by the year 2100. China is shooting for the moon. The country plans to put its own astronauts on the moon by 2030. This visionary endeavor is underpinned by the exploration, mining, and utilization of water ice and mineral resources that extend beyond our planet's boundaries. The driving force behind this grand initiative is none other than Wang Wei, a prominent space scientist and the lead scientist at the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation. Wang Wei is acutely aware of the rapidly advancing landscape of space technologies, which are poised to enable the economic exploitation of space resources, not only within the Earth-Moon system, but also deep into the cosmos. But China's ambitions don't end there. There are plans to collect samples from asteroids by 2025. He firmly believes that this strategic move into the frontier of space resource utilization could become a decisive factor in the global competition among nations. The initiative, aptly named after the Ming Dynasty scientist Song Yingxing's seminal work, Tiangong Kaiwu, which translates to the exploitation of the works of nature, is poised to revolutionize the global space economy. It promises to catapult China into a leadership position in space exploration and resource utilization, a prospect that Wan Wei passionately presented at a meeting of the Chinese Society of Astronautics in Beijing on August 19. In his address, Wang Wei invoked the historical parallels of the Great Age of Navigation when humanity charted previously unexplored waters and ushered in an era of unprecedented progress. He envisioned a great space age, marked by the harnessing of space resources, predicting that it would create new miracles in human history and usher in a wave of prosperity for civilization. Central to this ambitious roadmap is the utilization of gravitationally balanced regions strategically positioned between celestial bodies, be they planets, moons, or the sun, as nodes for expansion. Over the past three years, Wang and his dedicated team have meticulously examined the feasibility and key technologies required to harness deep space resources, as reported by China Space News. The plan, as articulated by Wang, includes the establishment of facilities for extracting water ice from various celestial bodies. These facilities would be distributed across the Moon, near-Earth asteroids, Mars, main belt asteroids, and the moons of Jupiter. The ultimate aim is to create a robust resupply network that spans the entire solar system. To achieve this vision, infrastructure beyond resupply systems would also be erected. This would encompass a network of transport routes for resources and extraterrestrial mining and processing stations capable of supporting large-scale commercial operations. Wang emphasized that the completion of this intricate system hinges on the development of diverse technologies related to space resource mining and processing, flight-based transport, and cost-effective resource return, all to be achieved between 2035 and 2100. One of the tantalizing aspects of this endeavor is the prospect of mining asteroids. Among the vast array of celestial bodies in our solar system, there are approximately 1.3 million asteroids. Astonishingly, an estimated 700 of them are in relatively close proximity to Earth and are believed to possess a staggering value exceeding 100 trillion US dollars each. Taking into account the technical feasibility and cost effectiveness, a total of 122 of these asteroids have been identified as
as economically viable for mining and utilization, according to an article in the China Space Daily. China's commitment to space resource exploration extends to concrete missions. The country is planning to launch its robotic probe, Tianwen-2, in 2025. This mission will aim to collect samples from a near-Earth asteroid known as 2016 H03 and subsequently return them to Earth. By doing so, China will take a significant step toward realizing its vision of space resource utilization. In 2026, China's Chang'e 7 spacecraft is slated to land on the moon's south pole with the specific purpose of searching for water ice. If successful, this discovery could have profound implications as the water could be purified for consumption, converted into oxygen, and used as fuel to support extended astronaut missions. Moreover, China is not alone in this quest. Several Chinese companies, including the Nanjing-based startup Origin Space, have joined the race to develop space mining technologies. These companies are poised to contribute innovative solutions and compete in the burgeoning space resource industry. China's ambitious roadmap to establish a comprehensive space resources system by 2100 represents a bold leap into the future of space exploration and economic competition among nations. Under the visionary leadership of Wang Wei and his team, China is charting a course that extends humanity's reach deep into the cosmos, unlocking the vast potential of space resources and potentially reshaping the trajectory of human civilization. As we move further into the 21st century, the promise of a great space age beckons, with the potential to create historic breakthroughs and usher in a new era of prosperity for humanity. At its core, this ambitious mission represents China's unequivocal commitment to space exploration and resource utilization, setting the stage for a new era of scientific discovery and economic growth on a cosmic scale. Moreover, the implications of this feat extend beyond China's borders, holding the potential to reshape the global balance of power, advance our understanding of the cosmos, and usher in an age of unprecedented opportunity for international collaboration. For China, the importance of this mission cannot be over stated. It symbolizes the nation's determination to lead the way in space exploration and harnessing the boundless resources of the universe. In recent years, China has made significant strides in space technology, evident in the success of its lunar missions and the establishment of its space station, Tangong. However, the quest to build a space resources system that extends from our moon to distant celestial bodies is a quantum leap forward. It not only cements China's status as a space superpower, but also positions the nation at the forefront of a burgeoning industry with vast economic potential. In the coming decades, space resources are poised to become the new frontier of economic competition among nations. Water, ice, and minerals extracted from the moon asteroids, Mars, and beyond could provide a wealth of resources, from sustenance and fuel for deep space missions to rare minerals essential for advanced technologies. As the world's population grows and our finite resources on Earth become increasingly strained, the ability to tap into the cosmic cornucopia could be a game-changer for addressing global challenges. From an international perspective, China's monumental mission has far-reaching implications. It has the potential to reconfigure the geopolitical landscape, much like the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union did during the Cold War. Space resource utilization could not only fuel economic growth, but also grant nations strategic advantages in terms of energy independence, scientific discovery, and even the potential colonization of other celestial bodies. Consequently, other nations are likely to intensify their own space exploration efforts, leading to increased competition and, hopefully, cooperation in the cosmos. All in all, such an effort by China looks extremely enthusiastic, and we're here to witness it. With much about China's solar system exploration plans covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below, and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.